Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. My name is Michael Humblet and I'm the founder of Chaomatic and in this show we discuss how you can accelerate your business through sales and marketing. And today we're going to talk about community. So I've invited Jelle and we're going to dig really deep and I immediately have a big question but before we go there tell our viewers who are you, what do you do? Good. Keep it short please. I'm going to keep it short. Hi my name is Jelle. Um, I started out eight years ago uh, for, uh, started my first business, which was an online career platform for the sports business. I built mm -hmm. it up to uh, about um, 70,000 visitors per year, mm -hmm. which is nice. And then I shifted to social media marketing. Yeah. And right now I'm actually doing digital storytelling. Digital so storytelling. I'm a digital storyteller. Yeah. Video, photos, content, yeah. doesn't matter, everything? Doesn't matter. We try to take, grab the story of our client who can be a normal person, uh, an entrepreneur, a visionaire, an activist, uh, organization, yeah. doesn't matter. We grab the story and we try to translate it to um, social media content, but not short bits or not one, sh one shot things, but for a longer period. Yeah. Yeah. So we're circling around it. Yeah. But in essence, it's community building. Yeah. It's community right. building. So if I'm a business, and I want to start doing it, and probably I have some community. Mm -hmm. What will be your advice? Where do you start? Yeah. So the main thing about um, community building is building trust. Mm -hmm. And building trust is not something that you do by making one video or yeah, just true. making a big commercial. Our, yeah. our uh, video guy, Peter, which you're yeah. not seeing now, he always talks about consistency, Michael. Consistency. consistency. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep He's going. right. He's Even right. if nobody's watching, just keep yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah. He's absolutely right. Consistency is a big part of storytelling. Mm -hmm. You have to find your story and then bring it consistently. Um, so you got to find your storylines and your teams. Mm -hmm. And then you got to bring that message cons consistently. And when you're consistent, you build trust. You build... Uh, with with the customer, of course, and um, yeah, you build some. So, do, do you, you have like pragmatic advice when you pragmatic think advice? Of this, where do you go? Like, make it a bit tangible. Wow. Okay, good. Because so most most, I mean, otherwise we stay very high. Yeah, I want yeah. I want people yeah, to feel yeah, it. And say, yeah, yeah. I can do actually. But something. it depends actually what your goal yeah, is. But course. mainly, what I suggest for everyone to do. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a scale-up or you're a starting entrepreneur, you're an independent professional, whatever, you need to find your brand's DNA, yeah. where you stand the for. The core, actually. The core, which yeah. is your personality, your facts, and your values. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing we do with all our clients. Find yeah. the brand DNA. When you find the brand DNA, everything else that follows, um, you have a, 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 a kind of checklist um, to see if everything fits in your brand DNA. So that everything you do will fit into the brand DNA. And you, you sound will. like a designer. They always it's, have the same thing. Yeah, it it's uh, make but it consistent. And the thing is, everything starts with that that DNA, that brand DNA, and staying yeah. true to yourself as an entrepreneur, as a person, mm. as a sales professional. You gotta stay true to yourself. So that's the main thing. And mm. then find your uh, find your big teams, and then start going deep into that. And when we go very practical. At the end, make some content concepts um, for whatever social media platforms that you're using and uh, go in depth into them. Do you have a preference on social platforms? Okay. Probably depends on the type of business and B2C, yeah, yeah. B2B are yeah, different, yeah. I agree, but, but, yeah. but are there some consistency where you say, yeah. I mean, if you listen to some of the gurus, they will say, ah, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just curious. My I'm, I'm, I'm really fascinated uh, at this moment by Instagram. Yeah, yeah. you have seen it. I've been following you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because what's your, what's your, uh, your new name so they can My handle yeah. is just at Jelleverdot. Just my name. Yeah. And yeah. how do you spell the last two letters? DT. DT. We'll put it yeah. in the description. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But everybody we will, who will look at uh, Yelleverdot, whatever name you, uh, you where you write it down, you will find me. Yeah. Because that's one important thing that I... Um, that I advise my clients, choose one handle, use it everywhere. Same. Yeah. Don't make any switch up like he, here's talks or dit or that or underscores, whatever. No, find one that is the same. If you fi don't find the thing that the, the one that's 
uh, that you really want, well, bad luck, but you gotta yeah. use another one. Should it then be the brand name? Because you're doing so. So one of the problems I, for instance, uh -huh. have, which, which I see more and more, mm -hmm. is when you start to grow expertise, I've been doing things on my name, Michael yeah. Humbert, yeah. and not on my company name. Yeah. And the problem is now people want Michael and not the company, yeah. which gives enormous limitations on yeah. scale. Yeah, because I mean, there is yeah. only one me. Of course. No, that's so, right. So, but you're doing the same thing. You're taking your own name as on purpose. Yeah. But what do you advise your customers? Um, depends on which bus business you are. Mm -hmm. um, if you're uh, like, for s let's say, if you're a team leader or some kind of startup tech startup like that, um, it's a different story. But when you start out, mm. it's always you that's the most important one because you have the vision. So the founder. Right? Yeah. The founder has the vision, the founder is the leader, the founder is the one who sets the, 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 the level or the, yeah, how people want to work, what mm -hmm. the values are. Mm -hmm. So at the start and continuously throughout the growth of a, a company, um, maintaining the vision and showing the vision as the leader of the company, um, that's, that's, that's the most important thing. So and then later on you flip it to you don't have the to brand. flip it. Ah, you keep no, you yeah, you just expand. At a certain moment, you have a lot of content, which is also a big reason to not start out with a company account with lots of content on it. Mm. Um, at first, people will follow you because of your vision, and then find you, get trust, and then get to the company. And at a later stadium, it's just here, say, mm. well, I work with this, I work with that, I work with that company. Mm. It always depends because team leader is SaaS. The SaaS scale up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, very, that's, yeah, that's a different thing. But where there's people involved, like in our scene, mm. it's so important for us to build our own brand. Yep. No, and, and I, I believe in, I say to a lot of companies, put faces on your website yeah. because people trust in people, people believe in people. Absolutely. So you have to put faces and you have to do a lot of... And that stuff, that's why we've been making these movies actually also, because we wanted to give a voice to the people. Yeah. So if I can pull you back to community. Yeah. No, I, I'm going to actually take you back to, because we, you didn't answer the question on which type yeah. of channel, because you said it depends. Yeah. But is there any preference to say you can scale the yeah. fastest on that channel? Um, let's see. I'm a big fan of Instagram because of the attention it gets yeah. at the moment. I, in a certain area, public. I yeah. think for B2B, it's a tough one, honestly. It's a tough one. And, and I believe in the, in the personal brand stuff yeah, for yeah, B2B, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, as a brand, it's a difficult one. As a brand, it's very difficult. Yeah. So you have to be on Instagram as the leader of the company, as the face yeah. of what you stand for. And then it doesn't really depend on which platform you are. If the platform suits or has your audience on it, mm -hmm. you have to use it and you have to use the ad possibilities. Ad. Invest in yourself. I, yeah. Um, get your message out there. Um, it's, it's more like a direct sales or um, yeah, advertise your vision and your stuff because yep. there's no easy way to scale a company's social media. No, I don't I have any idea if a, a player like Team Leader has a good social media following. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I don't I know. know. Their YouTube could be have yeah. a lot well, more subscribers. Okay. <laughs> that's a uh, different story. Yeah, that's right. Uh, because uh, if you're uh, if you have a very specific solution, yeah. and you know that your audience, your target audience, is interested and has a lot of questions. Um, yeah, you got to go for YouTube. Yeah. Because yeah, search engine wise, and I um, agree fully. I, I see yeah. a lot of companies not having a YouTube strategy and I'm yeah. thinking, guys, come on, you, you have to do this in yeah. the right way. I yeah. know we have high-end content. We yeah. put it on a Vimeo platform. Like, it has no, 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 no. no powers like, not at all, not like at all. YouTube. I advise people to use Vimeo, yeah. but it's only to put their videos up there that they can embed yeah. on their website because of the quality difference that yeah. YouTube kind of compresses You wouldn't quality. put YouTube on the website? Yeah, but because to have the views and all of that SEO wise again, it's better. It, it doesn't matter. It depends on your end goal. What yeah. is the end thing in your sales funnel that you want to reach? Yeah. And it's, it doesn't help you. Well, not always. I think of it as people are on social media. So their attention is there. You got to take them there and bring them to your platform where you can convert them to a customer. Yeah. 
but it's not always good to uh, get people to your website and then lead them out to your other things. Yeah, okay. So you really want to stick that then? Um, yeah. Because, of course, once you get to the landing page, you can funnel them down. And you yeah, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, hit yeah. them with everything. Yeah, yeah. Got, right? But <laughs> you really got to think about your end solution, yeah. the end goal. Yeah. yeah, start with the end in mind. It's like Always. a samurai. You're a bit dressed like a, like a Zen yeah. Buddhist. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, community, community. I community. Have a question, community. So, when you do community events, you start building port. I mean, there are many, many ways of yeah. doing it. One of the things I always wonder is at a certain stage, do you charge for it or not? And i give you an example. Mm -hmm. I was with um, a good friend of mine, CEO. He had uh, 60 people in the room, real community. Didn't want to charge for it. And after a while he started, he had to ask something because it was just costing him a lot of money because they were all guys and they were drinking it. They were emptying his fridge, which, you know, this happens, okay. right? Okay, okay. So okay. give me some feedback. Well, what do you think on this community? Should he charge money? Should he uh -huh. do it? Uh -huh. well, how, how would you construct it? How can you scale yeah. the community? How can you scale the community? I strongly believe in scaling the community by giving more, by giving as much as you can, mm -hmm. Yeah, which is possible, uh, okay, within the limits of your possibility. Um, because I had the same thing. Mm -hmm. When I started out with my first platform, um, I organized network events yeah. where I connected young professionals with experienced people, put them in the same room, got about five, six, seven, or even eight like experienced speed dating type of stuff. Yeah, it's like yeah. a big networking meetup. Just come by, grab a drink, um, have the possibility to talk with, like for instance, my first one, I had Thomas van der Spiegel, mm. basketball player, uh, who became the, the slimste man to the world. The, yeah. The, yeah. Smartest guy in the world. Yeah, yeah. The quiz in Belgium. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And it was before that. So it just got back to Belgium and I got him there. So it was kind of a unique thing. Got some other people around in the sports business um, who young guys don't normally um, find it easy to meet. Now we had all these people in the same room. It's mm -hmm. It was nice. And it was completely free. Yeah, I even gave them some drinks and stuff, but it was at a bar and they had to buy their, their, to buy their own drinks afterwards. But I shifted to a more paying event, mm -hmm. like make it a little more, yeah, drinks all in, uh, add pay some food, euro up front. pay 20, 30, 45 euros up front. You and see, I'm in B2B, yeah. 50, you're yeah. B2C, <laughs> 20 euro, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Uh, and um, I, 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 it shifted, it started shifting. Uh, Suddenly, at the first uh, events, I had 130 prescriptions, uh, pre-subscriptions, yeah. Um, I had 100 people showing up, which was a great su success. But then it shifted and it started changing and I was starting to attract other people. Yeah. So I made this mistake. Actually, it was a mistake. Because you were attracting the wrong people. Yeah, and, and I was making it smaller. Paying, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking backwards, I was like, damn, I should have just continued using the same formula Scared. and attract more and more and more people. Because at, at another point, in my yeah, in that professional project career, I would have. Um, it would have been more easy to to use that big audience that I built. Yeah. But now I was, yeah, holding myself back. Mm. Yeah. So, so biggest um, advice: give as much as you can. Yeah. Scale the hell out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Because I, yeah, the most important thing about that thing was, I started thinking about profit profitability too. F too soon. Yeah. 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 And that was a mistake I made. I agree. I, I mean, the reason why this show is for free, yeah. I don't get sponsorship, I don't do anything, mm -hmm. is exactly for that reason. I just want it to give. Yeah. And then one day, well, let's see what happens. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's the most important hey, way. One of the things we do near the end is we always ask some tough Good. questions. Yeah. yeah. Question Bring it number on. one. Bring it Question on, number man. one is how do you say no? To who? To a potential customer. Wow. Um, Hey, that's an easy one. I figured you it just out. Just say no. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out uh, a few months ago. Um, as soon as you got your brand DNA covered, and you know what you that's want and one. what you need, it's easier to say no to a client. And you can, um, what's the right word? You can explain it why. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good one, actually, because then it's easy to say no. Yeah. So how do you focus? 
How do I focus? Because um, there's always so much stuff going yeah. on. Um, I started out, what I noticed for myself is that I need an overview. So it's good to have an, an agenda yeah. Yeah, on your phone, but it's so small. Or on your laptop, but it's this yeah. small. So what did I do recently? Figured out, let's print my agenda, put it out there, so that I have a certain overview. Mm -hmm. Because when you're locked into your screen to check your sure. agenda, there's all these things coming up and it's like, damn, I have all these things and I don't have any time anymore to do my other work and not focus on that. But when I print it out and see that I have this block before this meeting and, and this block and this block, and I see this possibility of time and then it helps me focus. Yeah. I'm not stressing about the having visualization to... visualization of your plan. Yeah. 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 And yeah, that's yeah. a lot of advice I give to marketing. I said, yeah. show me in a quarter what are all the big steps you're going to do. Yeah. Makes you wanna... what's, what's your... Where do you get your inspiration? Where do you, where do you go? You have like, yeah, one that you can share. Say, guys, you need to watch this. You need to watch this guy. You need to read this book. Okay, that's a tough one. To pick one, that's or really tough. You can that's pick two, tough. three. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll okay, good, 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 good. Uh, um, my favorite ones that I go back to are, um, let's see. So I got into one part, one vertical of my personal brand mm. is self-development. Mm -hmm. What we all need to be doing to mm -hmm. become a better professional, better human being. Um, I got interested into uh, stoicism mm -hmm. as a philosophy. So if there's one thing I should uh, advise everyone to read is like uh, the book Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. It's an old book, yeah. It's very old, but it's very no, practical. It's not big. It's no, it's, it's a good read. It's a good read. Mm. Uh, for every leader, every entrepreneur, every creative professional, you have to read this. Yeah. Um, and then there are people who are here. Uh, guys that made my professional career jump up, jump up uh, are Gary Vaynerchuk. I like Gary T too. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Definitely. He has a Keeps vision. inspiring, give, gives you action massive, and energy. Massive. Massive. And um, a personal favorite of mine, less known here, is Lewis House. House, I don't yeah. know. He's a guy uh, who started out in, uh, as a national football player, got injured, had to stay in, on the couch at his sister's place, found a mentor, mm. uh, dove into LinkedIn, became a LinkedIn trainer, dove into webinars, did that, and now he's growing his thing and he has this thing called School of Greatness School where of he great. inspires yes, leads. Yeah. Man, it's so yeah. awesome. So what, what's like the biggest mistake you've ever made? Uh, the biggest in mistake business, eh? in business, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. I was going to <laughs> yeah. go very individually, uh, personally, but the first time that I, yeah, when I just started out, I had this idea, I wanted to do it. I didn't, I didn't really want to become an entrepreneur. So at this moment, I don't call myself an entrepreneur mm -hmm. because entrepreneurship is like building businesses, selling them, growing it. Da, da, da. I'm more of like a craftsman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, when I started out, I had this idea about this career platforms for sports business professionals. I went out to find someone to make my website and I actually spent almost 12k Ooh. on my first website because I didn't know anything about it. And you, yeah. yeah, because I thought I, that I had to have this website that has this uh, search engine to find whatever pieces of content on my website, this uh, back end, this thing where employers and employees and pers people yeah. could have their own account. You went Man, full corporate. It was absolutely not lean startup. Yeah. Because the thing that I actually had to use was, or had to have, was um, a simple blog website where I put up my content on landing page. and just push that on social media, and that was going to be even, yeah, more than enough. More than enough. Yeah, I, I did exactly the same, Damn, yeah. and I'm now at my in two years time, my fourth website or something, and it changes all the time. Damn, uh, it gets it gets simpler. It gets yeah. Yeah. What, what would, where, no, let me ask the question. Yeah. Where can people learn more about you and your company? About me and my company, I just tell them, go find me on Instagram 
or whatever Instagram platform TT. that you're on. You'll ever yeah. know TT. That's right. <laughs> on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Medium, on Snapchat. Everything. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But mainly Instagram. That's where everything starts. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And you have the link there in bio, of course. Yeah. So thanks, Jelle. Verdoot. Michael, to the, thanks a lot. The Sales Accelerator Show. If you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a lot more, subscribe. And yes, we will put all the links and all the books that we've talked about in the description. See you next time.